pepperoni. Here I go again. My, my, again, again, again. Pepperoni, we're going home again. I'm uh, playing the video game. I'm workshopping Pepperoni's theme song. That was the Mamma Mia test. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm feeling it, but there's more songs I can try. That's not the only one I have. Hi everybody, how's it going? I know I'm very HD right now. It's cause I'm zoomed in so that Julia is not on the camera while she's doing work for drawtectives that hey, um, you shouldn't pitch. see. Here's a pitch. Pepperoni, you're the one. You make gaming so, so much, much fun. fun. When I'm going to the final fantasy. That's pretty good. Yeah. Another one I was thinking of is pepperoni walking down the street. Pepperoni. You're going to beat those feet. Here's a pitch. Beat those feet isn't anything. Here's a pitch. <laughs> yeah. Pepperoni. You're the one. <laughs> <laughs> that one's really different from the last one you did. Is what I like yeah. about it. I really like that. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think that might be the one. But with with the pause, with yeah. the big pause you did. <laughs> yeah. Cuz I remember what songs are. Yeah, you got to remember what songs are. Um How's everybody doing? It's Friday. It's Friday afternoon. I'm seeing a lot of people saying this is their first live stream of ours because of the time, which is very exciting. I feel like probably I should start doing some pepperoni streams on like a weekend in the daytime and then I could really capture everyone at the same time. That would probably be the best thing to do, but I felt like doing it today. And so that's what I'm doing. And if you have a problem with it, you can send me a letter in the mail explaining your concerns. And I will take it and I will read each word carefully and slowly out loud to Julia, <laughs> like a herald would. Uh, anyways, we got some subs. I'm going to go ahead and switch to gameplay cam because already we've got some some folks gathered around oh, we got to turn the speakers on got to turn the speakers on and the sound there we go i had this whole shot set up right here where it was like pepperoni sitting alone in the in the drowning wench and it was very like co composed and now look at it there's freaking a carbuncle blocking half the shot there's a, there's a cat boy in a leather jacket and jeans behind me. <laughs> this person sat right here, blocked most of the frame. Um, anyways, I'm going to read some subs right now. That's what I'm going to do. I clicked wrong and I ruined everything. Who, who's been subbing? We got some subs from Fozzy and Butch Ghost, and Professor Softboy, and Goosenberg, and Flightless Knucker, and Space Vex, and Not This Mammal, and Toast42, who gave out five subs. Thank you so much. Yukaron, Pats for Patrick 213, Garlic Blood Blood Jenku Cluster Funks, Jizz Tin Bieber, Spam Master Flash, Jig Hicks 90, Nameless Noodle, Blue Phoenix, Whole Radiator, Abby 2489, Maddie, Rain Hippie, and Jeffsta. Thank you all for the subs. I appreciate that very much. Get that audio of me taking a sip of my iced chai latte. What do you say we get into the freaking game? How does that sound? Um, first things first. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Thanks for gathering around. <laughs> Standing around me like you always do. I, I don't know what I would do without all of you. All of Pepperoni's beautiful toppings. I hear that I'm getting friend requests. 
Let me address those immediately. I have five friend requests, except, uh, where's, where's my other requests? Here we go. Oh my God. They're coming in so fast. Except, I can't accept them as fast as they're coming in. Oh my God, it's Inna your Foss. Julia, somebody named their character Inna your Foss. Yay! Is Inna your Foss around here? I'm looking. Transgender is there? <laughs> Transgender <funny>. is there. <laughs> I'm not sure where Inna is, but I know they're probably around. Oh my god. So Basil many. Bacchus. Why does the list feel like it needs to refresh every time? Transgender? I definitely accept that friend request. Trans rigs. Inna can see you, but you can't see Inna. <laughs> oh, she's right there! Hella Dagos. Oh, there's Inna, your Foss. Accept friend request. Akanir. Akanir Drar. Akanir Drar. Yep, oh, and it just jumped. And Zalin Tia. I need to get a zoom on that, Anna. Yeah, we'll, we'll go take a look real quick. <laughs> oh, I ha it's not. Head. That's my uh, little minion. Oh. The Gala that's Kitty. Joy. Let's take a look. Whoa. Don't move, Inna. Oh, I can see the resemblance. Hell yeah. What level are you? Six? Pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, what was I going to say? I love Ronnie Pepper. Oh, is Ronnie Pepper here too? Yes. Oh yeah, Ronnie Pepper, the big, the the big, big boy. The big lad. The big lad Ronnie Pepper. I'm obsessed with Ronnie Pepper. These are all very good, everyone. Ronnie Pepper is my my partner in crime, my partner for life. I welcome you too, Ronnie Pepper. W Weklam is not a command. <laughs> I welcome you. Um, something I wanted to address. Straight away, you'll notice Pepper Ronnie's got some new armor on that she didn't have last time you were here. And the reason for that is I took the liberty of doing the um, the little novice. There's like some novice training exercises you have to do and they're really boring, um, but they do give you good gear for, for your level. Um, so I went ahead and did those earlier today and got them out of the way so you wouldn't have to watch them. And I collected all of, or I, I attuned to all of the aetherite in Limsa so I can warp around more efficiently. Um, she does have a helmet too, but I'm currently hiding it. There's the helmet. But I'm hiding it because I like showing off the good hairstyle, which gets covered up. Um, that's the first thing to talk about. What's the second thing to talk about? Is there a second thing to talk about? The second thing to talk about is we're going to get to the freaking dungeons today. That's my guarantee to you. We're gonna get to the dungeons, and then we're gonna run. We're gonna run some dungeons. Um, I think I'm just gonna invite as many people as I can to my party because there's really no reason not to. Let's just max out a party real quick. Invite, invite, invite. Where's Ronnie Pepper? Ronnie Pepper, get in here. Uh, low ear, get in here. Celeste Duskhorn, get you in there. Who else, who's not else is not in my party here? Eh, eh. Oh, did I, did I send you one or did I not? There you go, you can have one. Akaneer. Oh, full party, okay. <laughs> That's all I can have in right now. Um, okay, well, we got a few things to do before, <laughs> what a party composition. It is pretty incredible. What do we have? Like a summoner? What's that? Monk? A guardian or a, a paladin, I mean. Two, is that two astrologians? Two scholars? Must be two scholars. Another summoner and a sage. <laughs> the perfect, the perfect comp. This, this comp is meta. 
Forgot I gotta get my camera back up. Okay, I know I got a few things I have to do before we get to the dungeon, so we're gonna go to Swift Perch and speak with Riss, Riss Flow. So I'm warping to Swift por Swift Porch. <laughs> I'm warping to Swift Porch right now. Let me take a sip. It said some people were unable to warp with us, and that's a shame. I guess not everyone has this Aetherite. Transgender doesn't have this Aetherite or something. Uh, okay. Wrist flow. Am I immediately going to have to abandon my party? Getting reinforcements? Yep, I'm here to reinforce you. You got it. Duty calls. I have to abandon... I have to abandon the party immediately. Oh no. Goodbye, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> Stupid. I'll remake the party right after this. I can't believe I wasted that time. Let me turn on this as well. Turn on this light. Here they come! Here what comes? I don't even know what I'm defending against, to be honest. The story, like, doesn't matter at this point. Oh, cool, I got a firmware update. Oh, it's Reavers. It's Reavers. Oh, no. Piss on that, he says. They've come to piss on everything. Gonna mess these dudes up. Swift Perch was the main target after all. Let's go. I'm ready. There's it's just like four dudes. I'm ready. Make a four-man team to go through dungeons. That was my plan, uh, Boba Fetish. Actually run the dungeons with... With the crew, with the toppings. Okay. You're just like six dudes. What do you think you're gonna do? I'm not afraid of six dudes. Turn on my tank and stance. What about five guys? Who wants to go? I'll hit you all. I'll overpower you all. Oh, I remember one thing I wanted to do also was actually go through and like explain all of my skills as I get them so that people who don't play the game might better understand what it is that I'm doing at any given time. Because I know this game can be a bit visually confusing for the uninitiated. Um, so I, I'll go through and explain what everything does and how it works, and we'll keep doing that like as we go. Bainerous of the Deep. Can I just like whack on you, or do I need to kill everyone? Because I'll kill everyone. I don't don't think I mind that. Pepperoni loves to kill. Pepperoni lives to kill. Just give Pepperoni the opportunity. <laughs> Didn't pull a single mob zero out of ten, warrior. <laughs> You've been here for three minutes, and it's way less confusing looking than League. If you play League, then this is probably not so bad for you. Smack him and smack him. And we will continue to smack him. Rip Banerous of the Deep. What the heck? Blanga's here. Who invited Blanga? Oh, hey, I leveled up. Nobody told me Blanga was coming. Blanga's dead. I did it. Easy mode. The Reavers are beaten and scattered. They didn't get to piss on anything. There may be more of them lurking about. Okay. They were like mad easy. So I don't really know why any of you have had a problem with them. They were like pathetic. Oh! It's Shadow Man! Oh, we hate Shadow Man. The source of her strength becomes clear. What is it, Shadow Man? 
Pepperoni's pissed. You may have bested the golem, but you will not fare so well this day. This dude's always on about the golem. He's really pissed that I beat his golem. Oh, mournful voice of creation, send unto me a creature of the abyss, my thrall to command, that I may smite mine enemies. That's just a sword demon. Your very being imperils the plan. You cannot be suffered to live. I think I can be suffered to live. Defeat the Shadow Man, I got it. Shadow Man is, is pathetic, a pathetic child. Gonna pop my Berserkers mode. And we're just gonna whack on this dude. He's just a lesser gargoyle. He's not even a greater gargoyle, not even a normal gargoyle. May as well use Rampart, why not? This dude is honestly pathetic. This is an embarrassment. Does he even have any moves? He doesn't even have any moves. Oh, hey, Yishtola. Now we'll beat on your ass, too. See if I care. Oh my god, there's a beeping truck outside. This guy sucks, too. He doesn't even have any moves. <laughs> no mortal should possess such strength. The ability to hit me with an axe. <laughs> such incredible power. How does anyone do it? It's unbelievable. We got him. My one weakness getting hit with an axe. <laughs> such devastation, such potency. Uh, the wisdom of the Paragon should be brought low by mere mortals. Paragons, did he say? Then it is as I feared. They are known as the bringers of chaos, or Asians, to give them their proper name. It would seem our suspicions were correct. It is they who have been manipulating the beast tribes. Yeah, that's pretty fucked up. Pardon? You would know if we Charlians have encountered Asians before. I have never spoken to you of my homeland. How did you know from whence I hail? Wait, I do begin to see. You have been blessed with a special gift. Welcome back, gamers. You missed my cool fight. Are you alright, lass? I, if I'd known a mean bugger like that was hiding in the bushes, I'd left a squad or six to keep you company. Yep, kidnapping. We, we got it. We got it. Yishtola came as soon as she detected what was going on. It was Asians. <laughs> And I'm heroic, and we all agree. It's so funny seeing Yishtola's outfit in A Realm Reborn, because when you get to Heaven's Word, she decides that she just wants to put on, like... She wants to glow up big time, I'll say that much. She's like, it's time to be hot, and it starts now. But until then, she's just like, I wear a big shirt and some pants. The thread of your fate forms a part of a most intriguing tapestry. Mayhap we will be afforded the chance to speak more in the near future. For now, however, you must see this particular tale to its conclusion. Pray send my greetings to Commodore Rayner. Oh, there's a fart on the ground. Dude dropped his fart crystal. It farted on me. What was I expecting, honestly? Oh my god, hey everybody! <laughs> we did it! Yay! Alright! Oh, I got more friend requests. Accept. 
and accept. She wears the same outfit, but there's a boob window. No, her outfit, starting from heaven's word forward, is really rad. I love her new outfit. All right, time to add everyone back into my big party. We'll invite you, we'll invite you. You're, you're, that's Midgard Swarmer. Get out of the way, Midgard Swarmer. We'll invite you. Uh, who wants to trade? Who's trying to trade with me? Ronnie Pepper? Is that bubble chocolate? Thank you so much, Ronnie Pepper. Uh, Corin, you can come in the party. Rakesh, you can come in the party. Papatio, Fofutio, you're definitely in the party. And we'll get Loir back in here. And I think that should be full party, okay. Who knows how quickly I'll have to disband this one. Alright, I'm headed back to the Coral Tower. Back to Limsa. Let's go, gamers. Come with me, and you'll see Marauder's Guild. Go into the Marauder's Guild to talk to the dude. Hello, Rainer. You've awaited my return. Yep, I did it. I went out and I did it and now I'm back. And now it's time for a cutscene. Everyone is so jazzed about what I did, all the cool stuff I did. Yishtol has been working with them for quite some time. We got that. Oh my god, it's her! It's my wife! My first of many wives and husbands I have in this game. Get ready. Hot hot woman alert. Meryl Wibb. She big, she wear a cool jacket, and she has a pistol. And her last name is unpronounceable. <laughs> Blofiswin. Blofiswin. Meryl Wibb Blofiswin. So, this is the adventurer I've been reading about in the field. Oh, we got some uh let me turn the volume up a little bit so you guys can hear the... We got voice acting in this one. It's getting serious. I am Melvib Blufisvin, Admiral of Limsa Melvib Blufisvin. Me Melvib Blufisvin. On behalf of my people, I bid you thanks for the deeds you have done this day. You're welcome. A token of our gratitude. What worth is I can't reach that high. Just reward after all. You have to hold it lower. I can't reach that. Since you first set foot in our city, my good friend Badaron and Commodore Rayner have taken turns at regaling me with tales of your exploits. Let's um can we autoplay please? Yes, let's autoplay. Faster. Faster. Safe to say, they left an impression. Join me at the coming banquet. We're going to a banquet! A seat of honor at the celebratory feast is the least I can offer. Celebratory a feast? The oh! Oh! oh. oh. Aceded the feast. <laughs> Aceded the feast. And don't be late. Your fellow guests love that guy's energy to take the measure of their newest hero, and some do not take kindly to being kept waiting. Till then, may you walk in the light of the crystal. Thank you. I will walk in the light of the crystal, whatever that means. Thank you. Thank you so much. A Lamentsen ring? You shouldn't have. We're gonna 
turn the volume back down a bit so it's not blasting you. Wow, turns out the Luminson ring sucks, huh? Cool. Cool and great. Whoa! Who's popping off down there? All right, Rainer, what's next? Oh, I have to get like a formal set of attire to go to the feast. I remember this. Yeah. I need to get... I gotta get um, Pepperoni's dress clothes. Let's go visit Batteron. Batiron from the Ass Castle. Welcome to Batty Ron's Ass Castle. Go fast. Batty Ron, you got some fancy clothes for me, please? Where am I on my main? I actually just finished Stormblood. I finished the main Stormblood quest, and I think I'm doing the stuff that's like in between Stormblood and Shadowbringers right now. And I just switched to Reaper, which has been a lot of fun. Reaper's really fun to play. Yep. Yep. Collect a package from Janashim at the Octant. God, I would love to do that. That's like right behind me, huh? You know what? I'm just gonna... We're just gonna... We gotta go to the Ass Castle and we gotta warp. It's always something. Not paying money when I can do it for free? Take me to the Aetherite Plaza, please. I must speak to Janashim, the Brugger Consortium. All words that mean something to me, personally. Back to Badaron now, to show him a box. This is the type of thrilling stuff you can expect to get into if you play Final Fantasy XIV. They've got both accepting box technology and showing box technology. So there's basically no limits to the types of gameplay. Oh yeah, Joy's in the background. You can see her. Hello, Joy. There you go. Here's the box. Here's my dress shoes. What's next? The banquet will be starting soon. I gotta be wearing the fancy clothes. You got it. Put on, I just have to put on the dress shoes. That's all I have to wear. Okay. Put on dress shoes, you're fancy. That's it. Oh my god, a ninja's popping off right now. We're getting Naruto'd. Oh, and then I'm just talking to you, right? Right, wait. Where are you? Oh, you're below me, of course. Classic Limsa problem. Everyone knows if you're wearing fancy shoes, you don't need anything else to be considered formal. Uh, back to the Aetherite Plaza? I love that I've got this whole party just to freaking run around with me. All right, I've got my dress shoes on. Take me to the thing. They are fancy dress shoes, yes. That means I'm ready for any event. Oh, it's a party in here. Drink some of my special chai. My wife is back. Brothers and sisters of the sea. Yeah, we're gonna have to turn the volume back up. May the navigator guide and protect her on her journey. 
Till C swallows all. Thank you. That's so nice of you to say. These pirates you encountered with the tattooed faces, they call themselves the Serpent Reavers. Their ranks are formed of cutthroats and madmen who have pledged themselves body and soul to the primal Leviathan. Damn. From what we have gathered, they sought to swell their numbers by spiriting away any soul unfortunate Do you ever think about swearing yourself body and soul to the primal Leviathan? I need not tell you the depth of the animosity I do sometimes. between us and the Sahagin. How any seaman worth his salt could devote himself to the fishback's god is a question for a more temperate mind than mine. But, thanks to you, <laughs> Our citizens the height difference is incredible. Their daily lives, safe in the knowledge that they will not be dragged into the darkness by those execrable curs. Execrable curs. Such an extraordinary glow. <laughs> hey, look at this crystal I found. This is one <laughs> why of did the I get that out? <laughs> by the navigator. You want to see my crystal? After our encounter with the Gubu, you had a vision, did you not, of a towering crystal? <laughs> I got a chrismal. <laughs> Mommy, look at what I found. <laughs> the Ashtola's conclusion is clear, and I see no reason to doubt it. You are the vessel of a higher power. This being from your vision was the mother crystal. Your <laughs> I showed you my crystal, please respond. You know of her. And if she has chosen you, then your deeds may yet shape the fate of nations. That's true. As once did the deeds of the warriors of light. That's true. Know you the tale? Like you, they were not of these lands. Yet they fought to protect us all against the corruption of the primal. I do know the tale. When the Galian Empire began its conquest of the realm, these heroes joined the grand companies and helped reforge the Eorzean Alliance. Story time with Mommy. And at the Battle of Cartano, they took the field beneath our banners to fight for everything we hold dear. Everybody get it tucked in. Day, in the midst this is of bedtime that story. That we lost them. Every soul who survived that battle will never forget how it was to fight beside them. We are proud to call them our comrades. Yet whenever we try to shout their names, the sound dies in our throats. And whenever we strain to see their faces with our mind's eye, naught but their shadows appear to us set against a blinding light ask any true Aeosian Kaz, thank you for getting either. tucked in it's only appropriate the story will be the same it is for this reason that we call them the warriors of light what's the macro i have on my second row of hotkeys talendal i look upon you it's just a, a master volume mute. be reminded of them keep that crystal safe in time I believe the Mother Crystal will make clear her reasons for bestowing it upon you. Heed well her words, adventurer, for it is Hydaelyn herself who speaks. Oh, <laughs> too much crystal. Getting them crystal visions again. This was the Calamity. We hated the Calamity. Flames to the fore! There's our boy Raubon! Victory belongs to the bold! Show those Imperial whore sons what we're made of! Raubon rips ass. The left flank buckles. Divert the Barracudas. 
Raubon and Meryl Wibb are so cool, and then the third one is so lame. The yellow serpents are in need of Yeah, I'm talking about you, Connie Senna. Do something cool. The adventurers risk life and limb for our cause. We must not fail them. <laughs> oh, who's that up there? It's Shadow Man. Is Artemis? No, it is nothing. Bloody hells! The barrier won't go down so easily! Eyes forward! <laughs> she looks like a mayonnaise sandwich. <laughs> she we has a personality of one, too. I started in Gridania on my main character. And even still, I feel nothing for Connie Sina. Calling Bloodthorn. Bloodthorn, respond. Respond, damn you. Chimera on purpose said that they ran into me and Julia on the street back in December and they're saying hi again. Hi again. Hope you're doing well. We never agreed to call you Mad Snake. This is Raging Bull. What news? We're surrounded by a blaze. There is no way out. God preserve, what is that thing? What's going on? Speak to me. God damn it. We cannot hold much longer. They struggling. Mad Snake. Mad Snake! <laughs> Answer me! <laughs> That's gotta be a Metal Gear reference, right? There's no way it's not. Mad Snake! Damn it! Oh, hello, Olive. Damn it all to the seventh hell! What of the Barracudas? Can they not be reached? <laughs> the Barracudas! Sorry, Admiral. Shell's not working. Hello, Olive. What of our own? I cannot say, my lady. That monstrosity appears to be disrupting our communications. We must keep trying. Call till they respond. Yes, my lady. Admiral, General, we can do no more. We must give the order to withdraw. I will not forsake Oh, you can see about his little tail. General, please. Victory may belong to the bold, but there okay, will be okay. no victor this day. You know this to be true. Let us not sacrifice lives in vain. Adventurers fight bravely, but to no avail. Let them withdraw, and let us be the ones to stand with Louis Swa. Everybody wants to stand with Louis Swa. We get it. Delay previous orders. All Maelstrom units are commanded to fall back, effective immediately. Give the foreign levy priority. Let the main host cover their retreat and bring up the rear. Damn it! Relay the order. All flames are to withdraw. I don't care. Did about I mention that all the like voice useless. actors change from Heaven's Word onwards? You still have a working pair of legs, don't Sometimes you? Sometimes that feels important well, to mention. Them, you bloody halfwit! The outcome of this battle was long since decided. Better to retreat now than risk a massacre. 
kind of looks like a massacre, to be honest. This Excuse dark, me. stifling presence. Bless you. Cool. Thank you. Or what? We go to take our place beside Archon Luiswa. To your positions. To your positions. This is my war voice. I don't understand what you're saying. He's talking about Bahamut. Beyonds of imprisonment have only made him hungrier. Two shadow men. I'm aware of them. Pay them no mind. They are powerless to act. It has begun. Soon the planet will regain its true form. Ah ha 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 ha! Ah ha 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 ha! And just like that, I'm awake in the biggest bed. Yep, more than sunshine. We got it. Yeah, I don't remember. I keeled over. I was having a vision. I took a good nap and I'm feeling better. And I, I will go talk to the Admiral post haste. Turn the volume back down a bit. I feel like something important to mention for people that don't know is that um, the stuff you were seeing in that cutscene about like the calamity that happened when this game was first released, it was really bad and everyone hated it. And so they decided to basically reboot the whole game, but they did it as part of the story. So at the end of like the original version of this game, they had a big calamity happen that then led into the story of this re-released version of the game. So the event everyone talks about in the past is in reference to that, which happened to sort of eliminate the old version of the game and make way for the new version of the game. Which is a cool way to handle it, I think. All right, time to go to Merrill Wib, Merrill Streep. We gotta go this way. Yeah, retcon done right. It was really cool. I thought it was a, a cool way to, to deal with the game without sort of like not acknowledging all the people that did play before. Why was it bad? Uh, the original version was like based heavily on Final Fantasy XI which uh, was their first Final Fantasy MMO they made. And it was just like super dated in all of its mechanics. It felt like it was from another age. It was really inconvenient and there wasn't a lot to do. And it was really slow. Like basically all you had to do was grind and that was it. So they, they turned it around pretty big with this one. Yeah, I actually played the original, or tried to. I am recovered, Meryl Wibb. Let's waste no time. Please give me a dungeon to do. Please give me a wind-up airship. Oh, this is where I have to travel to the other cities and introduce myself to everyone. And then I get to do dungeons. Then. 
Yeah, I don't know if all of you saw, they're talking about the, how the game's not being sold right now, but they did just announce that they're probably going to open sales back up January 25th of the game. And they're making it so you can play with people from any people on your whole data center, not just your uh, server. So that's cool too. So it'll be even easier to play with Pepperoni once they do that. Merrillweb, I know you have a lot to say, but you got to understand that I have to go do dungeons. Is my main the same character from 1.0? No, it's not. Unfortunately, I had to make like a new account. I don't have my 1.0 account. I don't remember what happened, but I had to make a new one for some reason. Okay, back to Batty Ron. It's too bad your character's on Malboro. Well, my main is on Malboro. So, my main is uh, is called Tummy Boy. Anyone is free to add Tummy Boy as a friend if you're on Malboro. Uh, going here. Not like the cigarettes, that's Marlboro. This one's Malboro. It's different. All right, Batty Ron. I gotta go to the airship. What data center is Pepperoni currently on? Pepperoni is on Crystal Data Center, playing on the Bryn Hilder server. And um, on my main character, I started as a um, as an archer into bard, and then I switched to samurai at fifty or whatever, and then I switched to dancer at sixty, and now I've switched to reaper at seventy. Because there are some classes you unlock later, and those classes start at the level you unlock them. Yeah, you're right, the mullet looks cool. That's Pepperoni's main selling point. Airship landing. You got it. I've unlocked the airship landing Aetherite for this exact purpose. Yeah, Reaper's really fun, like right out the gate. I'm really enjoying it. Airship landing. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> We're getting on the plane. We're getting on an airship together. We're going on a trip. We're walking up the gangplank. We're going on an adventure. Lim says your favorite city, Ansta. It's probably my favorite of the the original three, as well. I definitely like um, Ishgard. I like Ishgard a lot in Heavensward, and I like Kugane a lot in Stormblood. Got that anime convention party vibe. You're absolutely right.
Pepper's on a big journey to go and talk to one person in Gridania or whatever and then come back. We're going to do a touch all the Aetherite speed run. Oh, what is this? Gotta watch a freaking cutscene again? Learn about the Garleans or whatever? Get ready to see some Garleans. Get ready to see the introduction of a man whom's ass we gonna have to whoop eventually. Everyone present here will receive an ass whooping. Oh, does it? Fifteen years since the Imperial fleet set course for Mordona, led by the Agrios, mightiest of all vessels. Silver Till Lake lay ripe for the taking, and all of Eorzea would soon be ours. This dude's pissed. So this dude's salty as hell. <clears throat> I do not understand half of the words this man just said. <laughs> you don't have to. It doesn't matter. Just imagine he said, a bunch of shit happened and I hated it, and now I'm mad forever, and I'll die mad about it. A blighted realm, riddled with false gods. Twice now it has eluded the Empire's grasp. For all the destruction <laughs> it wrought, <laughs> even Meteor, the Great Sin, failed to yield us control over it. <laughs> Talk about dudes posting their L's. Failure, the he literally stepped off his spaceship and announced his L's to all of his soldiers for no reason at all. beyond all reckoning, rotten nigh to the core. Imagine like driving to the Chili's and getting out of your car and like giving a whole speech like this before you go in. Only Garlean rule can bring order to Eorzea. It falls to us to deliver the I feel like all the soldiers are standing there like, we know, we know this. We remember, we remember all that shit. <laughs> we were there, dude. Is that a mask or is it just his face? They're all wearing helmets. In case you didn't get it, these are the bad guys of A Realm Reborn. And also hey, kind of forever. Really planning to take another tilt at hey? What hole have you been hiding in? We're in the midst of preparing for a new campaign, and a huge one at that. They're always trying to colonize shit. But I thought the Emperor had given up the Western lands for lost after Cartina. What could the Legatus Dude possibly got akumatized. <laughs> by acting alone? I sense you harbor certain doubts over the wisdom of the Legatus' plan. Here's our boy. Uh, my, my lord. Or a boy, I should say. Don't know if he's our boy in particular. Please call me Nero. Tell me, where were you born? Otha, my lord. <laughs> my freak. <laughs> Alamigo, my lord. Ah, codename Hummingway, I presume. 
<laughs> Nero Toll Cumberbatch. I, I don't know what he does look like mean. Benedict Cumberbatch. Silence. Your denials will not change your fate. I assure you, Fumentarium sees all. Hey. Hey, man. Come on. Clean up this Why'd you slice that dude? Come on, man. Any, or I shall be most displeased. Just slice that dude for no reason. At, at once, my lord. Chat's gonna lose it when Julia's lookalike shows up. We got a long time until we gotta worry about that. I don't know if we'll make it that far on this stream. This game's long as hell. The main story is, at least. We've arrived in Gridania. Oh, Pepper. Every time I see you, we're beating Endwalker with Pepperoni, and that's final. <laughs> I'll see you, see you back here three years from now at the rate we're moving. All right. This is going to be the uh, Aetherite Grab speed run world record. Greetings, thank you. Thank you for inviting me. I have to go quickly to collect the crystals. Collect my crystals. First stop. Oh, hey, there's a Reaper right there. That's, that's what I'm playing right now. Hot Topic Edgy Boy. Come, squad. Squadron. Touch the crystals, squadron. I love how Ronnie Pepper is always doing it for the first time with me. Ronnie Pepper is... I want to change the lore so that Ronnie Pepper is like my adopted brother or something. Or we're both adopted and we're siblings. Alright, gotta run down here, collect this one. Touch the shard. Come, Ronnie, touch the shard. Very good. And we're going back this way. Are there any more shards over here? There's not any more shards over here. I don't think. I think they're all in the other area. I know there's one in the midst of this chaos. Where is it? Where's the shard? We'll go, we'll go around, we'll go around. Who for in request? Chief Wumbo, accept. We're gonna touch this one. One down there, there's one over there. We're gonna make a loop around. This is also a tour. This is a grand tour of Gridania. Please enjoy everyone. Give you this beautiful, unobstructed view as we come around the corner. Where are we? All right, we're gonna go down, down in an earlier round. <laughs> Ronnie Pepper said we're extremely fraternal twins. <laughs> I cannot stress how fraternal we are. Some snowmen about. Who put all these snowmen everywhere? 
<laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for heralding me in. <laughs> I think there's one. Yeah, I gotta go over there. It's just, it's better to get this done now. So that I don't have to worry about it anymore. Let's take another scenic look. Wow. It's beautiful. The nature on display. Incredible. All right, now we're going to warp back to... Oh, did I not? I thought I got that one. I didn't get... I didn't get that one? Oh, I did get that one. Just don't worry about me, everyone. Don't worry about me. Oh, Conjurer's Guild. We should get the Conjurer's Guild. Everybody try your best to keep up with Pepperoni's speedy little legs. I missed the Leatherworks Guild. Yeah, I'll have to go back for that one. Bring it down here. Bring it downtown. Oh no, I don't want to talk to you. I want to talk to this. Okay, what are we missing? Leather Workers Guild and Shaded Bower. Oh yeah, we need that one. So we'll go back to the amphitheater. And we'll go this away. Hopefully they give us data center travel while you're still playing and then I can join the chaos. I mean, I've been having a lot of fun playing on stream, so I'll probably keep doing it for a while, I'd imagine, until I stop having fun doing it, and then I'll stop. Isn't that something? There we go, attune it! Leatherworkers Guild and Shaded Bower, that's it! Nice. Now we have access to all the other Aethernets. Aethernets! All right, we're going back to the Conjurer's Guild to do the quest. Who wants to make an SSS FC on this server? If anyone does, I will, I will join it for sure. Here's the missive. Now let's get this shit over with, please. Man, it'd be a shame if someone were to skip cutscene. Dang. My mouse slipped and I skipped the cutscene with Connie Senna in it. Oh no. <laughs> we're going to Old Da. Take me to old. Do me or any of the crew do yarn crafts? I don't think so. Not yet, at least. Let's go. Let's go to old Ah. All aboard. Yeah, Willie does net. Do Pepperoni's party members just stand around doing nothing while the cutscenes play? I think so. That does seem to be the case. Lollafell city time. That's right. Sometimes we jump. Yeah, you can jump, you can spin, you can do emotes. 
Who's honking? All right, it's about to be time for the old uh, Aetherite Touch speed run. Don't worry, we will visit Raoban, but first we must touch. We must touch the crystals. Take me to the Hustings Strip, please. So that I may touch the shard. Where's Ronnie Pepper? Did Ronnie Pepper make it here? I'm worried about my brother. Oh my god, the capybara pup! Oh, baby. Oh, baby. We're going to... Oh, I got some friend requests. <laughs> my friends list is getting unwieldy. Okay, I'm, oh, I'm stepping geez. away Cappy. so that I can bring out the Cappy. Oh, everyone followed. Oh, oh yeah oh, well i'm never changing minions again don't stand on it hey hey <laughs> <laughs> saffron sativa quit standing on cappy beautiful all right continuing on oh another friend request Go through here. Gotta go touch the crystal. It's so tiny. I love it. What a baby. What a little baby child. Great. Now we're going downstairs to the merchant strip. Oh, do I have to like run around to make it over there? You quickly forget how to navigate these cities when you teleport everywhere. Oh my God, the police are coming. It's over. They caught me illegally streaming. They're coming to get me, but they'll never catch Pepper. She's too fast. All right, we're going to touch this. There's Ronnie Pepper. You made it, my brother. And we're going to swing around here. Touch crystal. If you like touching crystals, this game is going to be your favorite game of all time. If like that's the metric by which you judge video game quality is number of crystals touched, I can't think of many games that let you touch as many crystals as this game does. Miner's Guild. Then we come around here. And we touch a crystal. And we go up here. Conniving there do well. Oh, that's where the Reaper quest starts. In case you're curious, you end up going here to get your Reaper quests. And we go around here. And we touch a crystal. And we go up here. The feet sounds are cracking me up. <laughs> we go to the steps of Nald, and we got a couple more crystals to touch. And then we're done touching crystals. 
It's an hour 15 into the stream. We still have not done the dungeons promised in the title of the stream. But that's, that's coming soon. Signature request. Sign your free company petition? Yes, I will. Absolutely. No questions asked. All right, now we got to touch big crystal. Is big crystal? No, there's one more down there. Big crystal. There's so many Ethernet connections in this city. There truly are. I do like big crystal room, though. It's got a nice glow to it. All right, back this way. We got to touch one more crystal. And then we can do the quest. <laughs> Melita Beak screamed the Great Migration. It's all happening. We're all going. We're doing it. Can someone explain what is happening? <laughs> Yo, why are we running? People have seen my big group and they're confused. <laughs> oh, there it is. The secret sleepover. Petition. We've made a free company. All right, oh, I'm just going to warp. Free company formed. <laughs> it's so funny. All right, take me back to Chamber of Rule. Let me pop into free company chat. We did it, gamers. Jacob, I just think you should acknowledge that Jamie is stranded in the middle of nowhere because they got a flat tire. And they are modding now. <laughs> Jamie, <laughs> you're modding from flat tire hell? You don't have to. All right, time to speak to Bartholomew. Here you go. Here's this. Take me in to see the Admiral, please. Hello, Rao Ban. Ah, a guest from Limsa. I thought I smelled stale ale. You talking shit, Raubon? I won't hold it against you. If you're half the warrior Mervyn says, tis a wonder you don't reek of dead Sahagin. Welcome to the Sultan. Please of change the it to allow recruiting. I am Raubon Al Din, General of the I don't know how to do that. Does someone know how to make it allow recruiting? But you did not come all this way to trade formalities. Oh, you've stopped speaking aloud. I see. Well, if you've stopped speaking aloud, then I've stopped listening, Raubon. Speak with your verbal words or don't speak at all. We know that Garlemald is bad and that they're conquering places. That's basically what he's saying. Garlemald bad and we hate it. Everyone's saying hi to you, Julia, in the chat. <laughs> you went too far. <laughs> You're hidden again. We got it. We got it all. Complete. I've leveled up. I'm level 20. Airship's now accessible. Bartholomew, you got intro. You got stuff with my dude is shit, 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 dude is shit, huh? Alright, well now I have to go do my class quest, so... Everyone has to wait for that. 
I'm going back to Limsa, everyone. Somebody just sprayed champagne in the air. I can't believe I'm already going to be overleveled for the dungeons by the time we get to the dungeons. Uh, take me to the Marauder's Guild, please. Somebody always beats me here, and I find that impressive. Why are you standing like that? <laughs> hey, why are you standing like that? <laughs> what does it mean? I don't like it. Cut it out. Quit doing that. All right, what's my next quest? You require my assistance, huh? Worrisome news, a child has gone missing and I must unmissing the child. What's that, Culinarian's Guild? Take me to the Culinarian's Guild. Soul Quib, hello. Yeah, I'm here to discuss the missing child. We're gonna go to Red Rooster Stead. Red Rooster Stead, where the heck is that? Lower Linoche. All right. We're going to Lower Linoche, everyone. Saddle up. There's a missing child, this is not a drill. We have to save this child's life by running as fast as we can. And riding your motorcycles and cars and beds and dragons and birds. I tried so hard and ran so far. But in the end, it doesn't even matter. Love that flying pig. Love that flying bed. Ronnie, want to ride? I'm close. I'm close enough to getting there at this point. I'll take a ride for the next long stretch of travel, though, for sure. Oh my god, that's a cool thing. Was oh, that just the car? That is the car. It just looks crazy from behind when it's flying. I hate to see it go, but I love to watch it fly away. Ronnie needs a mount. I forget when you get your mount. It's like a grand company thing, right? Oh, you meant Ronnie Pepper. Wow, offering Ronnie Pepper a ride, but not Pepper Ronnie. Disgusting. Talk to Chocobo Keep. Hello, Chocobo Keep. I will not be using your services probably ever. Hup. Where's the missing child? Show yourself. Nedard, where's the missing child? I know you have him. Level 20 for the mount. MSQ anyway, yeah. Soul Quib, where's the child? Show me the child. Where am I going? Aleport. We're going to Aleport, everyone. Saddle up. This is not a drill. There's a missing child. Julia, you're helping Jamie change the tire? Yeah, because I remember Ford Escape being really stupid because I had one. Uh-huh. And the spare tire is located... I'm going to grab the mic. Spare tire is located underneath the truck bed. And the way that you get that out, because it's connected by a wire, is you have to insert a rod where the trunk opens, and there's like a little hole, and you put the thing in there, and you turn it and it lowers the tire to the ground. I remember doing something like that on a different vehicle. 
It's yeah, really stupid. It was really stupid. There was a whole era where cars did that, where trucks did that. And I hate it. Makes no sense. So anyway, we're getting this tire. Let's get that tire, Let's gamers. Let's get that tire, gamers. Ooh, puck awesome. hatchling. Hi, everyone. Puck hatchlings must die. Since we're all in a party, you all have free reign to murder puck hatchlings. Eliminate them as fast as you can. Oh, someone left my party. Oh, Loir left my party. You said you were feeling... You're not feeling that well? I'm sorry to hear that. It does mean someone else will be invited to the party. Who will it be? Will it be Girl Boss? <laughs> I think it will be Girl Boss. Girl Boss, welcome to the party. Interact with the satchel. A hostile presence, oh no. What's gonna happen? Will we survive? We survived. Time to gaslight and gatekeep. Soul Quib, what you doing up here? Where's the boy? Hand over the boy, Soul Quib. I know you have him. Oh, it's a level sink. Well, I have to disband the party, everyone. I'll be back. I'll be back. Sorry. Girl boss just got in. Sorry, girl boss. You'll be first girl on the boss, list. No! You'll be first on the list. Crossworld Link Shell invite. Toppings. How do I live without you? How do I make this go away? How do I accept? Whatever. It's time to go. RIP girl boss. Sorry girl boss. That's a big yak. You shouldn't let yaks get that big. That's your first problem. That's what's gonna happen if you let your yak get that big. And if there's dog raptors in your in your town. Update. We got that tire! Let's go! Blooded Baron, thank you for the five gifted subs. I also saw someone gave ten subs a while ago, and I meant to shout it out. Pergus Finn gave ten subs. Thank you so much, Pergus Finn. I'm gonna have to kill this giant yak and all these dogs. Activate tank stance. Initiate murder mode. Boom. Let's go. Overpower. Overpower. Stack them up. Knock them down. That was easy. Oh, there's more. Stack them up, knock them down. Why are all these dogs so pissed? They're literally coming out the woodworks. Who made all these dogs so mad? Is this the same child who had the run with the Megalo Crab? It is. This child is like getting up to some stuff. This child needs to learn to protect itself. I just remembered I was gonna explain all the skills, wasn't I? And then I completely forgot to do that. Oh what, the big yak doesn't even come to fight? Big yak just standing up there? Pepperoni is so small. Whoa! I was doing fine though, actually. But thank you. We're in zone. We've rescued the child. 
All thanks to Wernjern. Wernjern. Welcome to the Wernjern. Oh, Big Yak, let's freaking go, dude. We're running away from Big Yak? Come on. He's clearly the ringleader. We gotta take him out. You can't let Big Yak run free. Well, I did it. I'm completely alone. This is bizarre. They put me here and no one knows where I am. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, there's Cactar. Here comes everyone. <laughs> Girl boss. Oh, you were the one doing the nasty stand. But I promised I would invite you back in. And so I will. Uh, Corin Elder, you can come in. Arvid, you can come in. Busta, of course, of course can come in. Rando. James Longstrider. Chief Wumbo. Oh, have I already invited too many? Oh, Chief Wumbo's not in their home world. What about Celeste? Celeste, you're running around too fast. I can't click you. Here we go. Full party! All right, let's go. Where am I going? Red Rooster Stead. All right, who wants to take me to Red Rooster Stead? I need a ride. Does anyone in my party have a two-seater mount? Oh, there's the car. I can get in the car. There we go. Okay, we're going we're going back to Red Rooster Stead. Do you know where that is? Do I need to pull up a Google map? It's in Lower Lenosha. We're going to Lower Lenosha. Just around the old corner there. We're not going to McDonald's. Southwards. What the heck? Who teleported? Who teleported me to Swift Perch? This isn't where I want to be. How has this happened? I've been abandoned. Somebody come pick me up. I'm scared. I'm alone and I'm scared. Does anybody have a car? Am I going to have to run? I'll run if I have to. Don't think I won't. I'm running. I'm gonna exercise them legs. Them little legs. Don't- don't attack me. You don't want to attack me. How do I get to Lower Lenosha? Is it you? What the heck? Oh, this is the wrong place. You know what? I've made this more difficult than it needs to be. We're just gonna warp down to Mora B Dry Docks and we're gonna run up. Well, actually, it's probably quicker to go from Limsa, huh? We're just gonna go to Limsa. I've made this more difficult than it had to be.
James Longstrider said it, and they were right. They were right to say it. All right, lower Lenoche, let's go. Here we go. There's the car. All right, let's go. Take me to Red Rooster instead. Show me the world, shining, shimmering, splendid. I like how there's more people in this car too. Damn, we're chilling. We're chilling though. Hell yeah, this rules. Just pepper in the boys. P -p -p pepper in the boys. Thank you. Oh, you know what? Something I meant to do that I need to do right now before I forget. I need to move my status info down here where I like to have it. Because I don't like where it is by default and I noticed it was in the wrong spot. Great. Um, what am I doing? Quest. Turning in quest. We found your son. We found your son. I'm skipping your cutscene though. Thank you. Oh, nice umbrella. I love that. Thank you, Chief Wombo. All right, back to Marauder's Guild. Will there be an ad break? There probably will momentarily because I have to pee. <laughs> Once I'm done with this quest, I'm gonna go pee. And then we're gonna start getting to the dungeons. You know what I'm saying? We're only an hour 37 in. But we're going to get there. Alright, worm. Give me the goods and free my soul. So I get the axe and then I get... Oh, that's the helmet is better. Oh, I'm still wearing my dress shoes! Stupid! Still wearing my damn dress shoes. I've been wearing dress shoes this whole time instead of armor. Unbelievable. What's this new helmet look like? Whoa! It's so yellow. <laughs> Incredibly yellow. Too yellow. Okay, I'm gonna run a few ads and I'm gonna go to the bathroom. So three minutes of ads and I'll be right back. They're starting now. Pull this back up in case Julia wants to see the chat. Howdy. I'm here. It's me. It's me, hello. Let's look at, let's look at pepper. Oh no, how do I change? Oh, there we go. I pressed middle click. I've been playing other games. Wow, I love these chunky earrings. Fun medieval fact, uh, chest plate for armor is bent like this because it helped deflect the power of the arrows. <gasps> a heart just happened. Anyway, it deflects the arrows so that the arrows don't like... Basically, it diverts the power so that instead of piercing, it just like glances off of it and breaks off. Oh my god, who is this? Oh no! <laughs> good. A good view. How do I hide the UI? It's one of the Fs. I think. How do I hide the UI? I need to- I need to view. Scroll lock? Oh, thank you. Oh my god. <laughs> yes, everyone, form up. Oh my god. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh my god, the pose. I saw you doing it, girl boss. I they were doing, doing it. it. Girl boss just put on a suit. Oh, oh perfect. <laughs> God. Everyone's getting into the corner. Really cramming in. It's <laughs> <laughs> just a leg blocking the view. I'm gonna get out of the way. This is very funny. Well, pepperoni's invisible now. Yes. Covered up by people. Lost in a sea of legs. <laughs> Thumbnail group photo. You hear that, Kaz? You got your thumbnail. Where? Oh, we're in a corner. Oh my god. <laughs> Looking at it from far away is funny too. <laughs> Bullying! <laughs> Bullying! Okay. I'm back and I'm ready. We're going to back to the drowning winch. Believe it or not, we have to speak to Batteron again. Constantly speaking to Batteron. At least in the fictional world of Final Fantasy, we can all stand very close to each other. All right, Batteron. Let's get to it, my man. Uh, this is all bad. Give me the money, please. Next quest. I think this might be the first dungeon quest. Yeah, it's, it's pirate. It's pirates. It has to do with pirates. I gotta go speak to Vamelpa. Vamelpa? Where's Vamelpa? Fisherman's Guild? Vamelpa's my favorite Scooby-Doo character. Oh, Vamelpa. I'm coming to speak with you. Vamelpa says Joinkos. <laughs> Joinkos, Scorby. Ronnie! My brother! I am here. Yes, Sastasha! Let's go! I gotta go to the Hall of the Novice. Why do I have to go to the Hall of the Novice? Oh, at Aleport? Okay. We're going to Aleport! Let's go, everybody! We gotta go, we got, we gotta go. We gotta go, okay? Listen, we gotta go. It's dungeon time, finally. I'm so ready to tank. We're probably gonna have to eliminate half of the party. Cause I think it's a four man dungeon only. And they'll have to be the proper roles. Yeah, I'm going to sauce Tasha. You're damn right. Do you have anything else to say? Okay. Let's go. Let's freaking go. That's a dinosaur. Is this my first tank class? Um, I've played a little bit of tank on my main character just for funsies here and there. Half of the party will be shot straight in the head and eliminated. <laughs> it's the only way. I wish there was a better way. Hello. Give me the dungeon, please. Duty finder unlocked. I know where to find the duty is in the toilet. We've done it. It's dungeon time. What happens if I try to go in with uh, with eight people? Nope, it's gotta be four players, okay. So we need a tank, a healer, two DPS. 
Uh, James Longstrider has a healer of about the appropriate level, it seems. Is Rando as a healer as well? So I think we'll we'll take James Longstrider since their healer is about the right level. Um, and then we need two DPS. I feel like we gotta take we gotta take Busta. We gotta bring Onsta. And maybe maybe girl boss. I don't know. I don't know how to decide. I'm just gonna pick these people this time, and next time we'll pick different people. How about that? So Celeste, you gotta go. Rando, you gotta go. Corin, goodbye. And Arvid. Arvid left of their own accord. Arvid said, I'm not fired, I quit. And we're gonna run the dungeon with this squad. And next time I'll take all different people. You can click the gear in the top left to select unrestricted. Is that true? What gear? I don't see a gear. All right, we're just, we're just going. It's in the duty finder options. Maybe I can't do that yet. Oh, above the word duty. Unrestricted party. Oh, but this also takes away level sync. And defeating enemies yields no XP or items. <laughs> so that's not going to work. That's not going to work for us. We got to keep it restricted on this one. All right, let's go. Let's go, gamers. I need the EXP, you see, and the items. I'm not out here to receive no rewards for my work. Here in Sastasha. All right, everyone, this is it. I'm probably going to do small pulls because I'm a new baby tank. And so we're gonna, we're gonna take it easy. Maybe a slightly bigger pull than that though, because that's pretty, that's pretty tiny. Oh, they're already dead. They're gonna die so fast that it's probably not actually gonna matter, is it? My tanking skills are not gonna be uh, stressed, I don't think. Hello, black bats. Whoa, black bats. Don't think I need the map open for this. Easy. Check out this bloody memo. Why don't we? That sure was a bloody memo. They're not wrong. Here we go, gamers. We gotta fight some jellyfish and some bats. So, um, the original dungeons, the first few dungeons are not incredibly difficult. I'll say that. I think we probably should make it through without, um, without much of a hiccup. You! We can probably do bigger pulls, right? I think we can do bigger pulls. Bring them. Giant clam, giant clam, giant clam. 
giant clam. Bunch of little nerds. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get all this in here too. Let's go, everybody gather up. Can I please explain my abilities? Yeah, I keep forgetting to do that. I'm so sorry. I keep saying it and then not doing it. Um, so basically what I'm doing here, right now I only have one AoE ability, which is my number six key that I'm hitting. And it hits all of the enemies in a cone in front of me. So I want to make sure I'm lined up in such a way that they get hit. Because that's my main method of um, keeping the aggro on me. And as the tanks, that is my job. And then when it switches to one enemy, what I'm doing is, you'll see at the bottom left here, I'm using this, this heavy swing ability, which when it hits, it triggers the uh, maim ability as a combo action, which makes it do more damage. And sometimes I'm using this tomahawk to engage from afar, because it is a throwing weapon. And then I got berserk here, which makes me do crit crits. Crits for shits. Like we can turn that on and just do big crits for funsies, like that. And then I have this F6 button that is Rampart, which is a, um... Hey. Stop that. Which is a defensive cooldown skill that makes me take less damage. So it's pretty basic stuff right now. There's not like a ton to explain. As you level up, the classes get like way more complicated. And you have a lot more stuff you have to do and manage. You thought you could get away with it, giant clam, but you can't. There's Tracior over here. What was the treasure? I didn't even get anything. Bang. Bang. Rampart your mitigation skill, oh shit, I don't want to die. Yeah, exactly. But also, you can just kind of use it whenever so that the healer doesn't have to, like, heal as much. See, I'm using it right now just so I take a little bit less damage, and then the healer has an easier time. And they can use more of their time for attacking rather than healing, which is the ideal state of affairs. Hey, open up, bud. Open up, it's time to die. They're already dead. It's Chopper! Time to fight Chopper! And normally as the tank, what you want to do is what I'm doing right now, which is pull the enemy so that they're facing away from your party, and enemy any moves they do that go straight in front of them will not hit your party. Isn't that cute? Tomahawk you. You waste my time, I hit you with the tomahawk. Looks like Chopper got chopped this time. Treasure? What do we got? Plundered gauntlets? Um, looks like I don't need them in particular, but I'll greed them. Ethereal brass gorget? I do need, I, do, I can't even roll need on that. Greed. Give me the greed. Wow, I got everything. Incredible. Scurvy dogs. Hello. I'm fighting over here. Healers are all incredibly bloodthirsty. In this game, they are. You have to be. This game's the equivalent of that meme of like the... Like, I know I'm a doctor. Like, the doctor with the pistol. What's the doctor with the pistol saying in the meme? You know the one I'm talking about. It's the anime doctor with the pistol. It's like, I'm usually a doctor, but... Or something like that. Time for a boss room! Frick you, bud! Let's hit that. Hit those crits. 
I'm a healer, but yeah, that's it. Hit the crits. Hit, hit the crits. Hit the crits. Hit, hit the crits. And then Captain Madison runs away like the little baby boy he is. Acolyte's robe, no thank you. But I will click greed because why not? You never know. You never know what you might need. Hello! Time to die. I like how they're just in here like having a nice time. And we're like not on our watch. I get over here so I'm hitting all of them. And then we smack them, and then they smack them. What's up, gamer? Bang. We can probably take these door guards too, I imagine. Turn the camera around so everyone can see the... <laughs> everyone's screen can be covered with exploding lights. while I cram myself up against this door. Great. Take me into the captain's quarters. None shall survive. Captain of what? Captain of dumbasses. That's what I think and say. Oh, he's dead. Dang, that sucks to be you, though. Guess you shouldn't have been a captain of dumbasses. Hello. Welcome to hell. Pepperoni gonna hit you. Pepperoni gonna give it to you. All right, let's go. Heading into the final segment here. Captain Madison again, thinks he can handle it, but he can't. Just trigger that, just trigger that. Pop all the cooldowns, why not? Captain Madison, you got nothing, my dude. You're a fool. No one told Julie about all the dogs we have to fight soon. Yep, here they come. The scurvy dogs themselves. These are scurvy dogs, though. So they're kind of different. They just haven't had their oranges. These are scurvy dogs. So don't worry about it. This is This is what's best for them. Hello, gamers. Could have just gave him vitamin C instead. Yeah, I gave him vitamin C, all right. Vitamin chop. <laughs> I'm not gonna wall-to-wall -wall pull only because the healer is only level 17. It's an actual of level healer. And I don't want to make them scaled. I think we go this way, as I recall, and we can avoid some of these fights. I do believe that is the case. Hit everyone with my big ol' axe, and we're gonna make them go to hell. And I think if we like hug this wall, we can avoid those fights over there. 
as I recall. Bang. Bang. I have the intense job of going bang bang. Wall to wall don't help much since no one has AoEs, yeah. <laughs> so when you're playing dungeons with higher levels, they get level synced down to whatever level is appropriate for the dungeon. Um, and when you get level synced down, you don't have all your skills anymore, so a lot of them don't have AoEs to use. Din the Orca Toothed. Murdered a man. And now he's mad. Alright, let's do it. Prepare to die. Basically, we're gonna hit this guy really hard until he dies. That's sort of our strategy. That's our game plan going into this fight. And I think if we stick to it, we'll come out on top. We did it. <laughs> Good job, gamers. Challenging boss, but we made it. Yeah, look at that squad! What a team! Yes, Pepper, you did it! You tanked! I got. let me switch to party chat. You have to say... GG thanks all. <laughs> you have to act like you don't know them and say GG. What sort of trace shores do we have? Bad boots, a sword I can't use, and a shield I can't use. But I'll roll greed on them. Let's get the heck out of here. <laughs> Hi, everybody. We did it! We came out successful. Good work, team. We did it all together with the power of friendship. Yes! So proud of everyone. All right, we're going back to Limsa. Bayleaf has sent me a friend request. I will accept this friend request. <laughs> With the power of carry. It was teamwork, Ansta. It was beautiful teamwork. That's the wrong button. Yes, accept. Take me to the Ass Castle. Inviso Guy said the randos in Final Fantasy XIV have been almost universally polite and I need to be nervous. That's very true. I have yet to have in 70 levels of playing a bad experience with the party, even when I was messing up and doing bad. Every single time, someone has just calmly explained to me the mechanic that I was messing up and then been like, don't worry, we'll get it next time. And I'm like, damn. Everyone's so friendly. I know there's got to be like occasionally toxic people, but I personally have not encountered them yet. We did it! I'm the adventurer who did Sastasha. I'm Mr. Sastasha. Alright, I don't care what you're talking about, is sort of my main issue.
I did it, bad run. I did my first dungeon, and I didn't have any special help at all. It was all me. It was pirates, and it was Sahagin in there. That's what it was. Next quest. Next quest. We're going to Gridania. Who sent me a friend request? Vernda. Vernda Skoger. Oh, I should add more people into my party, huh? Uh, Ronnie Pepper, you got some new gear. Look at you. Get back in the party, Ronnie. Uh, um, who else is over here? Vern Descoger, you just joined, so you can come in the party. And we'll put in Akanir. And we'll put in uh, Arvid. And that should be a full party. Okay, we're going to Gridania. Uh, just so people know, too, I'm probably going to go until 5.30. Do you want me to get the laundry? No, I was going to go right after. Okay. So you said between 5 and 6, right? Yeah. I love you. So I'm going to play for 30 more minutes, and then I will go. And maybe we can even get to do another dungeon. If we're lucky. Hello, Chocobo Man. Oh, hi, Alan. <laughs> we gotta go talk to Mama Mion. You remember Mama Mion? Yeah. From when you played? Yeah. She's like the lady I talk to the most, probably. You have to talk to her a million times when you start in Gridania? God, I lived in this place. Mama Mion, give me the potions. What's my task? Okay, Give me my task. Who's this? Some fucking guy. Who cares? Central Shroud, Shadowy Figures, Zealots, Calamity. You know how it is. Be careful out there. You got it. I will be careful out there. Why does Julia not play anymore? Julia's not as into MMOs. Yeah. As I am. They make her sleepy. Where am I going? Tamterra Deep Crop. That is the next dungeon. Oh, baby. We just gotta make it over there to freaking Central Shroud. Take this exit. I thought this guy's name was Honor Taint. But it's not Honor Taint. We're going out into the woods, y'all. Let's go, squad. So first stop, oh my god. Are you in my party right now? Ja James? Vernda. Vernda, take me to uh, Bent Branch Meadows, please. Take me to Bent Branch Meadows, please. Thank you. I'd like to attune the crystal. Let's ride in the big whale. To the crystal. Beautiful. Attune this bad boy. Alright. Do you want to also take me now to Tamterra Deepcroft? Take me down to Tamterra Deepcroft, please. I think that it's right down there. 
I'll show you on the map. This is where we're going in case it's not on your map. Away we go. Yes, 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 yes. So many magic to bones in here. Who magicked all these bones? Cultists. Oh, we can do another dungeon. Let's go. All right, we're going to have to eliminate people again. This time, we'll keep Vernda as the healer. And we'll keep... Um, Ronnie Pepper, what class are you? Is that Scholar? What is that? What class? Which class is that? I forget what the, the icons are. Someone will tell me. Someone will tell me shortly. Arcanist it is. Okay, so you, you can you can DPS Ronnie Pepper. Alright. So girl boss, you're out. Onsta, I'm sorry, you're out this time. And then we'll keep Ronnie and Vernda and Akanir. And I'm sorry to Arvid for this one, but we'll get you next time. Now that's a squad. Let's go. Commence the dude. Are there level appropriate people in the entourage? Uh, Ronnie Pepper is. In case you were wondering what a Tamterra Deepcroft looks like, it looks a little something like this. Here we go! We're going on a journey! Oh yeah, I guess, Ronnie Pepper, you, you're probably new to this duty, huh? Uh, I'm new to this duty too. I'm new to this duty. This doondy. Alright, let's go, gamers. Flesh fly swarm. Don't even have to look at him to hit him. Easy mode. We're gonna try to pull a little bit more. Let's let's pull a little more. We can go faster. We can be more powerful. <laughs> pull all you want. <laughs> Yeah, I guess people still don't have a lot of AoEs is the only problem. So we can't really be that fast. Anything else to pull? Pull this guy. Come join the party, bucko. Who took my aggro? Please don't take my aggro away. Oh, I don't have my tank stance on. <laughs> that explains it. My bad. <laughs> Stupid. <laughs> Thanks, everybody. I forget that it turns off automatically when you start a dungeon. All right, we got a little bossy boo.
As soon as I noticed that aggro was being taken, I was like, something's wrong here. Hello? Just gonna bash this guy down real quick. Oh, I got a new move, didn't I? Reduces damage dealt by nearby enemies. Okay. We'll use that, why not? Treasure! Who wants some goggles? And we did the thing. And now we move on. Hey, you. Not gonna hit me with that move. Who, me? I don't think so. I appreciate all the tanks in chat saying they still forget to turn on their tank stance. It really should just stay on. If you have it on, it should stay on. What the heck? Hey, sir. Sir, where are you going? <laughs> sir, please! We're fighting. That dude was just walking away. Oh my god, Arlend, 50 subs? Thank you so much. I'm gonna put this move up here. And yeah, we're gonna fight these two bugs so we can get a treasure coffer, why not? Ethereal brass wristlets. We love a wristlet. You lose all buffs when your level changes and you sink to the dungeon, you lost the stance. Buff, I understand. Thank you for explaining. Where the heck are we going? This way? Other way. My bad. My bad is this way. <clears throat> Hello, bugs. Let's uh, turn the camera a bit. Arland is gifted 797. Jesus, Arland. I mean, thank you so much. We really appreciate it. <laughs> Did you just rescue me? Did you just rescue me? What's this, pants? What's this, freaking pants? Time to fight a boss, let's go. What is wrong with you? Oh, she's hanging on like a little... Oh, stupid. My god. She's hanging on like a Lion King cat. Unbelievable. <laughs> Doesn't she know? She can't do that. She was about to get dropped like Mufasa, you're right. <laughs> I live you okay, buddy. You're not gonna hit me. You're not gonna hit me. Treasure? Gloves I can't use. Earrings I can use. We got Yarzon feeder. Hello, Yarzon feeder. I want to pull more. I'm feeling greedy. I'm feeling greedy. I want more. Because I want it all. 
for nothing at all. There's no lip to fall. Girl boss, thank you for joining. Thank you for watching the stream and for doing dungeons. Fleshly swarm. Ronnie, are you just standing there? Oh, Ronnie was making jokes in chat. <laughs> Ronnie knows the jokes are more important. And saying Yar's on feeder I hardly know her was more important than fighting that fight. For sure. We got a classic Akmina Varlet over here. Come on, gamers. Let's get these bugs in on the action. I don't want to get hit. Poor Olive. <laughs> Take them downtown. We got treasure. That axe is worse than my axe. Disgusting. I already have that item. Plundered moccasins. Plundered me moccasins, boyo. Oh, hello, Ploops in the chat. How you doing? Long time no see. Yars on feeder. I keep getting distracted by chat and not paying attention to what I'm doing. Typical chat problems. Are you guys ready to fight a boss? Let's go get this guy too. Hey, come over here. Everybody must aggro me. That's the rule. I'm the tank, you aggro me. Oh, that's right, we have to go this way first. And unlock the uh, the last... We gotta touch the last orb. You know how it is. With orbs. And the way they get. This game's also a good game if you just like touching orbs. That's definitely true. Touch the orb. I obtain a cultist rosary. Uh, we gotta destroy more orbs, right? But where's the orbs? I always forget. We missed him somewhere? Where the heck are they? Oh, can we break the gate? We can break the gate, right? With the cultist rosary, I remember how it all goes. Let's go. I will hit as many little demons as I must. We're gonna pop that, we're gonna pop that. Octavel the Unforgiving is dead. I'll also probably before the next stream do the thing where um, I reduce the amount of effects that show. 
so you're not getting quite so much visual information. Should make it easier to watch for people. I've leveled up. And I'm destroying orbs, and I don't even care. The big orb! Oh! Time for the big orb! And Squid Head! We gotta fight Squidward. Oh, what's in the treasure? Acolyte's robe? Let's go fight Squidward, everyone. It's time. Beating Squidward's ass. You've been messing for, with SpongeBob one too many times. Wicked at rest. Thank you for the gifted subs. Galvant the Dominator, the only thing you're about to dominate is the grave. My dude. And then he summons all these guys, and I gotta pick up the aggro of everything. It's like, what, I gotta have all the aggro? Ridiculous. Skeleton soldier, gotta die. Let's get out of there. While he does his little, while he pitches his little fit. Oh my god. So many. So many things. Squidward got so many friends. Nice job killing that imp, everybody. Good imp killing. And Squidward goes down. Rip Squidward. He was a shadow Squidward all along. Squidward was from hell the whole time. Nice. Good job, everybody. Plundered Kane. Wow, just what I wanted. How come I can't give commendations yet? Does that come later? I want to commend. Oh, let me say GG. Thanks, all. before I leave the room. You can't give commandos to people in your own party. Wow, I guess that makes a lot of sense actually. Hello everybody, we did it. We did it. We beat the dungeon. Yes. Everybody celebrate. Come on and celebrate. All right, we gotta go back to Mama Mion and then I have to end the stream after that. Thanks for the celebration, everybody. I appreciate it. Gonna equip your new stuff. I don't even know if I got anything that was better than what I had. Let's see. Let's check the recommended gear. Oh, I did get some stuff. We take those. I must go to my own. Friend requests. Accept. Who else? Who else? Yvette. Accept. All right, let's go visit Mama Mion in the, it's so dark. The darkest, rainiest night. Thanks for all the gifted subs, everybody. Cora, Zapharite. Right. 
My foray into the deep crop was a success. You called the right person for the job. No, oh, she's talking about how some parties are really sad. She's like, my party member died because I couldn't heal him fast enough. And it's like, it's fine, you can just res. It's one of those games that likes to pretend res doesn't exist when it's for story reasons. Give me another task. All right, everyone, that's gonna do it. Let me hop up on the table. <laughs> that's gonna do it for Pepperoni and her gang of toppings, also known as her, uh, what's the other name we came up with? It was good, and I can't think of it. It was toppings and it was um, chaperonies, that's it. Thank you to all my toppings and my chaperonies. I'll be back again sometime soon with another pepperoni stream to continue the game with all my new friends. Uh, but until then, we'll be back on Sunday with another uh, Dark Souls Granny Smith stream. So join us for that. And thanks for all the subs and thanks for all the gifts. And we'll see you all next time. Bye, everybody.